take a look at controlling the position of our moving lights. First things first, let's turn our moving lights on. So I can go and do that by simply pushing up their faders. If you wish, you can go and turn on all of the lights you wish to in turn, or you can use groups to turn on all of the lights at once. I'm going to go to my groups window, and I'm going to go and double click on the group of lights that I need. Double clicking on one of these groups will select it and turn those lights on to full. Now I've done that, I'm going to go to position. In my position window, I have the option to automatically create a position palette. This position palette, or position shortcut if you like, will send these lights back to this location. You can kind of see it as their default home position. On my encoder wheels, I can access my pan and tilt controls. So I could go and tilt these fixtures out, and I could then go and pan those round to move them around my stage. I've currently got all of these fixtures selected at once, and so they're moving all together as a group. When I've got those fixtures in a position I'm happy with, I can tap record, and I can then store that as a position palette. I could then go and name that palette if I wish to. On the 24 fader version, you've got a maximum of 48 position palettes that you can program, and that doubles to 96 on the 48 fader version. As well as just controlling these fixtures as a group, we can also fan our positions. Fanning means that we've got a group of lights selected, we're controlling them all at once, but the console is automatically giving them different position information. Let's watch it. If you hold shift and dial the pan wheel, you will see that I'm now able to fan these lights. So if I hold shift, the Z slash shift key, I can fan them all into center stage. And I could record that as a palette. I'm going to repeat this, but this time I'm going to fan them out. And I'm going to record that as well. I've now got a series of palettes that I can jump between. If I wish to, I can apply a fade time to jumping between these palettes. To do that, tap your Z slash shift key and tap the middle button of your fourth wheel. This will enable something called programmer time, which allows us to apply a fade time to the movement of our palette transitions. This also applies to our color palettes that we looked at in the last session. I'm going to go and disable that again. And go back to position. So as well as our palettes, our encoders, and also our fan options, we also have a pan and tilt grid. And in here, you can go and control your lights within X and Y coordinates to move those fixtures using the touchscreen to the location you need them in. Again, when I've got them in a location I'm happy with, I can press record and save that as my own custom palette. <laughs> 